But one of the things we throw out these numbers, but we don't actually say what it really means. And so when we think about state and localities, I want to separate that out because we have 50 states plus territories and DC and Puerto Rico, but we have 90,000 local governments. So we're talking about counties, school districts, special districts, and they all serve residents and they all serve residents with uh, public services. So when we're thinking about money to them, you know, we want to think about what do they need that for? The other thing I want to focus on is that January 2020 was not a good status quo for a lot of the country. And a lot of the country has been struggling, especially since the Great Recession. I'm probably going to sound like a broken record on this event today, but rural communities have been struggling. Um, in the aftermath of the Great Recession, K-12 spending was cut. So that led to lower student outcomes, but also less maintenance and less infrastructure. Those infrastructure issues are harming them now because of the pandemic. So when we think about this money, it's not about what's happening right now, but it's also helping them kind of get up to speed from some of the issues that they had before. So as we talk about numbers, let's also talk about what the numbers are gonna be used for and where everyone is at that position.